This is just going to be as quick as I can an overview of the tablet and where everything is, just so that it's very clear. This is the home screen, and on the PLC 400, it's trying to keep it as simple as possible. Over here, you have your project screen where you can edit and import projects, and then furthermore, work on your jobs. I'm gonna come back up here to the home screen. Over here is your stationing tab. You click on stationing, and here's all the different stationing types. Um, I will uh, do a different video on each different stationing later, but this is how you station your unit. And just remember that uh, if you have any CAD file, that this is the station you're gonna most likely be using. Uh, if you don't have a CAD file, you can do a free stationing and just start doing some measuring recordings. You can also station off of a building line. Another video on that later. Here is your uh, application tabs. Uh, when you, I'll show you this in a second. Uh, draw, this is, this is where you can go into your actual drawing itself and start messing with uh, either your points over here or your views. All right, so you have all your views here of your CAD and then you have all your draw and point creations and measurement checks on, in the middle tab. And then over here, you have all of your application tabs, okay, which I'll go through in another video as well. And then uh, <clears throat> up here at the top, whenever you are on your drawing screen, you have this arrow, meaning your connect con connection. If there's uh, an X on it, it means you're not connected to whatever's in this corner. So if I turn my prism on, you'll see I'm not connected to a prism. That's what that X means. Even though I'm connected to a unit, I'm not connected. But the whole top bar is just basically your connection issue, your connection status. Uh, you press this middle button to pull up the connection screen. I'm in, I'm in an emulator, so you can't see my uh, camera. Uh, but you can uh, press that to move around the camera to come to your prism. And you press this lock button to lock onto it. This is your unit, depending on which one you use. It's going to look like the one you use. If there's an X on it, it means that it's not connected. And over here is your connection strength signal if you're using a Wi-Fi unit or if there, you, you've even seen a single dot of... Uh, if, if there's not an X here, it means you are connected. Let, let's put it that way. Right here is your height of rod. If you have a, uh, a a prism you're using, you can type in your height of rod right here or whatever your height of rod is. And you can click this as well to choose your prism type you're using. And uh, when you come to this arrow, this is where you can choose to move the camera around, have the camera turn, have your unit turn to a specific point in your drawing, or come over here and select that you're going to be using a prism or a laser. That's what that screen is on this. Also up top, you have your settings gear you can always access, your home screen which you can always access. Uh, this goes to your uh, system info. And then you also have over here your battery status for your instrument and your tablet. And then over here your help if you ever want to access help. And then obviously turn the unit on and off. Uh, this writes part of the screen represents the menu for whatever application you're doing over here. So if I go to this Kogo menu and I pull it open, it's going to be giving me the distances of the uh, points that I'm checking dimensions between or the lines I'm checking dimensions between. If I come over here to, let's say, height transfer, it's going to be telling me the offset of the specific height I transfer. So just think about this as your menu for whatever application you're using. And then this button over here is always going to be your measure button, your back button, and then your check mark. Now the back button you got to be careful with because if you do press it, it'll take you back to the home screen. So just be careful with that. I think that'll be a quick overview. Oh, layout. So you're noticing I can't hit layout right now. It's saying there's not a station found. If I was stationed, uh, it'll let you click it and go right into basically your application of layout. Um, if you are not stationed but you want to be able to use some of these applications, what you can do is you go to draw and then just go over here and you can use, let's see, if you're not stationed, you can still use this height transfer button, you can still use this missing line button, and you can still use this vertical lay, uh, vertical alignment button. Uh, the other ones you probably have to, you're going to have to wait till you get stationed. So again. If you do need to do some sort of application, you can always get there by going to draw, swiping down on the uh, right window, your application window, and they're right here. I think that will get you started.